It's so funny because I used to like try to make my lips look smaller when I was younger. I hated how big my lips are. And now I'm like plump, make them stand out. I feel this tingling right now. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So this is the last of the items that I picked up during the Sephora Spring Savings VIB sale, whatever you want to call it. Shipping took forever. I was out of town for a little bit, so I had to wait till I got back. And I think this is it. I do have some stuff that I am bringing back or exchanging, but I'm not going to do another video on those things. Um, I'm pretty sure I already talked about them. If you haven't seen my first impression videos or if they're up yet, I don't know the order of these, but I have a couple items in here that I just threw in because they were smaller items that I hauled and I wanted to put everything together. So before we get into this video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. And let's jump into this haul because I have a lot of exciting stuff. All right, this first thing I'm going to talk about is not from Sephora. <laughs> How does that even make sense? But it is something that I'm super excited about. I think the other haul video is up. I never know what order I'm going to upload things. So I'm sorry if I haven't put this up yet, but y'all are going to see this in two different videos. This is the, I don't even know how to pronounce this, Maison Francis Kirk Dijon. Dijon? I have no idea Paris, but this is Baccarat Rouge 540. If you don't know, you need to know. If you know, you know. I fell in love with this fragrance. I smelled it. I finally went to Neiman Marcus, smelled it, and I wish I wouldn't have because it is freaking amazing and it is freaking expensive. I picked up the Extriot, which is the intense version of it. And then I was like, I want to be able to smell like this when I travel but I don't want to have to bring that bottle with me. Y'all, that was so expensive. Definitely a splurge. And then right after I signed up with Neiman Marcus, I got a 15% off coupon and I was like, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get the travel set. So I did get the intense version of the travel set as well. And I had 15% off. So that does make me feel a little better, but it's still ridiculous. This comes with five mini bottles of the fragrance and then oh and then oh girl listen don't drop anything from this is heavy this is the little travel case that comes with it wow this is super heavy this reminds me of my pat mcgrath that highlighter that was like super luxe. But so you just put this in here and then you can travel with it and you don't have to worry about spilling or breaking the big bottle. So I felt like I needed to have this because I love how this smells. I kind of wish that I would have smelled some of the other fragrances that come from this brand because this is the only one that I smelled and I was instantly in love. So I'm not, I'm not. I started to say, so maybe I'll go back and smell some of the other ones, but I don't want to because they cost too much. But this, I haven't even sprayed it and I can already smell this. This is like, I don't care how many people smell like it. I don't care how many people knew about it before me. I don't care if somebody else is wearing it with me. I'm going to compliment you. You're going to compliment me because this smells amazing. These next two products, I'm going to talk about them together. First, you did see me haul this already. This is the Sol de Janeiro Beja Flor Elasti Cream. I got the small one. I got the small one when I was in the store. I was like, Barbie, you don't need the big one. Then I smelled it again when I got home after a shower and I got in bed and I was like, you know what? I'm going to get the big one while it is on sale. So I have a small one I can travel with and then this big mamma jamma. I did see that they also came out with a fragrance for this. So I ain't going to lie. I'm probably going to pick it too because it smells so good. People were saying this smells like Baccarat Rouge. It does not, it is not the same. But people were also saying that it smells like the Ariana Grande Cloud perfume. So this is not from Sephora, but I did go ahead and I picked that up too. 
because I like to layer my scents to make them last longer. And honestly, I wanted to see if they smell the same. So I had some points and decided to go ahead and pick it up. This is just super cute and it's not very expensive, but I just want to see if they smell alike. And you can't do that if you don't have one of them. So that's my excuse. This is so thick. Like this is definitely a cream, not a lotion. God, this smells so good. I used this last night, but I want to see if it smells like this. I don't have anything on, so I'm going to spray this. I think this is sweeter. They're similar, but they're not the same. I could see myself layering them because they are close enough, but they are not the same. This smells good though. The Ariana Grande smells good, but it is definitely sweeter. Let me see what they say the notes are for these because maybe, I don't know. I mean, they both smell floral. They should. Ariana Grande, oh, they have a Cloud 2.0 Intense. I didn't know that because I probably would have got that instead, but that's okay. So this one says it is an Oriental Gourmand with the top notes being Lavender Blossom, Juicy Pear, Bergamot, the heart is creme de coconut, indulgent praline, and vanilla orchid. Okay, I do smell the vanilla. And then the base sensual musks and creamy blonde woods. I definitely think that this smells good. And I feel like this could be like an everyday scent for me. Definitely good for springtime. I feel like. I don't know. I wear what I want when I want. <laughs> I don't listen to like, oh, you have to wear this at this time and all that different stuff. Like, I'm just not that person. I've always kind of been just to my own, right? What is it? March to the bait of my own drum, whatever you want to call it. So this, I don't know if it gives the notes. Oh, wait, let me find the perfume. Okay. So this is the Brazilian Crush. Cherosa 68 Beja Floor Hair and Body Fragrance Mist. So this says it's a fruity floral and it has Brazilian Jasmine, Pink Dragon Fruit, and Pink Dragon Fruit, and Sheer Vanilla. So I guess because they both have vanilla, you kind of maybe smell. I'm not a vanilla girl. I will tell y'all that right now. My mama used to wear the hell out of some vanilla and I was just like, I can't. It's too sweet. These are sweet, but because of the musk, and the floral to it, it kind of makes me feel like it's not overly sweet. I just stuck my nose in there. I don't think these smell that alike. I don't know. If you have the Ariana Grande and you have this, comment and let me know what you think. Maybe, I don't know. I do kind of think that the Ariana Grande is closer to the Baccarat Rouge than this is but neither one of them smell like Baccarat Rouge. So I just feel like nothing compares to it. I see what the hype is about and I'm glad I got the real thing. But I will throw in, I said this during the other video too. I do believe that the Dossier Ambery Saffron is a dupe. Absolutely, they nailed the scent. It does not last as long, so keep that in mind, especially considering that I have the intense version of it. I have a link down below for you guys. I did partner with them a while back. I tried that fragrance, so that's how I know they're the same. Check it out, and if you wanna save some money, use my coupon code, and then you can try it for yourself. Okay, another fragrance. I decided to get this little trial version of Burberry Her Eau de Parfum. I picked this up because I was watching Makeup by Cheryl, and she was just going on and on about how good this smells. All of these are so similar. I did just get this little set. It was $29 and the 29, the 20% 20 off. It's out of stock right now, but this says it's a fruity floral. So it has dark berries, jasmine, and musk amber. So again, jasmine and musk. Now that I'm smelling all of these together, I don't feel like this smells as similar to any of them. <laughs> But I still love how this smells. So this is just another little sample of something that I heard smells really good. I love florals, but not necessarily like white florals. I don't love roses. Gotta be careful, don't do gardenia, anything like that. But all of these with the musk base, I tend to love them. So all of these I'm really excited about. Also from Sephora, I picked up this Laura Mercier Translucent Pure Setting Spray. 
This is new. I haven't heard anybody talk about this. I did my makeup and I haven't set my face. So I'm about to right now, but this says it's an invisible hydrating setting spray. No tightness or sticky feel and no smudging. It sets your makeup to last for 16 hours. Y'all know how I am about my misters. So let's see. This does not have a fragrance. Does this say fragrance free? It sure does, and it does not have a fragrance. Oh, that's too close. No, I don't like this mister. I feel like it's like putting big drops on my face. What? Yeah, I don't like this mister, I lied. It looks like it's coming out fine, but maybe it's too close to my face, but it's like, I feel like it's spitting at me. But if you don't like fragrance, y'all, this smells like absolutely nothing, so. If you want to check this out give it a try this is my first time trying it so I have no idea how it's gonna last don't love the mister but love that there is not a scent and I do feel like it helped kind of set everything yeah I think I mean first impression love that it doesn't have a smell but we'll have to see how it lasts next I finally picked up an LYS cream blush this is the higher standard satin matte cream blush and I got mine in empower I really wanted that new shade Epic and it never came back in stock during the sale. This one is like a berry shade, which honestly, I'm tempted to just keep this one because you know what? I want to put some of this on because right now I have on an orange blush and while I like it, I want something that has a little more punch to it. Yeah. I can already see that that makes a difference. And this is the kind of shade that I normally go with with this look, but I was trying out another blush. Yeah, that is a lot better in terms of what I, <laughs> what I like for my blushes to look like. So I don't know. I probably am going to get that other shade, honestly, just to have it. I love shades like this. I don't want to bring this one back if I'm completely honest. So I'm probably just gonna get the other one too, just because I thought it was a pretty shade. It was like a brick red, I think. Let me double check. I might not even want it anymore now that I have this. So the Epic shade, of course they're all back. In, oh no, it's still not in stock. It's a tangerine red, which I feel like is different from anything that I have. Every time I say that I end up eating my words. So I don't know. I'm probably still gonna get it. They're only $16. So whatever, I'm gonna get it, but this shade is gorgeous and I guess that's the first impression, definitely a keeper. Also from Sephora, I picked up their Outrageous Effect Volume, yeah, what is this called? Lord. Outrageous Effect Plumping Volume Gloss. I don't know why they make this so, I guess they're gonna make me go to my order and like tell you guys because I don't wanna say the wrong thing. But I do plan on doing a full face of Sephora products. And I've been loving plumping glosses lately. Ugh. Of course, now I can't find it. But I'm going to go ahead and open this if I can get it open. Last time y'all saw me stab myself. We're not doing that again. Um, this is in the shade 02. Yeah, this is called Outrageous Plumping Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade number 2 XXL Nude. I've really been loving having shades like this to put over lip liners that are super dark because it helps lighten them, but also gives a little bit of color. I can't take this off all the way, but, but this is what the applicator looks like right here. I love that it kind of has that curved tip, and then there's a divot. Oh, that is a gorgeous shade. You can see it's a little nude, but it's not taken away from the color that I have right now. It smells kind of cinnamony, like licorice. We'll see how the plumping feels, but I've been loving plumping lip glosses. It's so funny because I used to like try to make my lips look smaller when I was younger. I hated how big my lips are, and now I'm like plump, make them stand out. I feel this tingling right now. If you don't like tingling lip glosses, you are not going to like this. This one tingles. Um, but yeah, I love accenting my lips right now. Make them look big. Make them look full because people pay for what I was born with. So I am going to embrace them. I also picked up a Bright Future Concealer. 
I picked this up in the shade Ginger Snap. This is not a good shade. I don't like this shade. I'm not even going to open it. I'm going to bring it back. I should have gotten Cream Caramel, but they were out of stock. So I'm just going to bring it back and exchange it for the shade that I need. And I'm going to use this one in, I think, if I don't have another one, in my Full Face of Sephora. I also picked up their Brow Gel. Same thing. Wanted to use this for that video and... I do like setting my brows with a brow gel. I did not do that today. So we can go ahead and do a little quick first impressions with this just to see. But on days when I'm just like barely doing my makeup and just want my brows to stay in place because I'm not really filling them in a lot, I use a clear brow gel just to make sure that they stay up and they stay in place. So one of my favorites is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and... It is kind of expensive, so if I could find a cheaper option, then why not? So we'll see how this one holds, but I do feel it on my face right now, and I feel like it's going to set my brows, so that's a good thing. Next, I picked up this Refi Lip Sculpt. This is in the shade Sepia. I think this came out like right at the end of the sale, and I was just grasping at straws at that point to pick something else like I needed to spend more money. This comes with a lip sculpting pencil. It is a tiny, tiny pencil. And then this is what the shade looks like. That is a gorgeous shade right there. It is a brown, but then it also comes with this gloss, dual ended lip liner and lip setter. So it says recommended for refi lip gloss. Yeah, lip liner and lip setter. Recommended with refi lip gloss for best results. So I thought this was the gloss. Oh. This, I don't know what this is. I don't know if I can get this close enough for you guys to see the texture. This almost kind of looks like Vaseline. I'm trying to think of what I can hold it up to that you will be able to see it better. And I don't think I have anything. So this is what it looks like. It is like a Vaseline almost kind of paste. I'm not gonna put it on right now, but it almost looks like one of those silicone based primers. That is, where did it go? It on my hand right here. You can kind of see the texture of it. It really looks like that silicone. It doesn't smell. And then it just like disappears and kind of mattifies and sets everything. I don't know, that's interesting. I, Definitely like the shade of the liner, so I am going to keep this, but I'm curious how this works. I didn't pick up the lip gloss. I did accidentally pick up another set. This is the lip collection. So this comes with a full-size lip sculpt, which is the lip liner and lip setter, but this is in the shade Fawn. And then it also comes with the gloss. So, okay, I do have the gloss. I thought I was going to bring this back, but I need to see what this liner looks like because I thought it was gonna be a little too light. If it's okay, I'm gonna keep it so I can see what the gloss looks like. I may try it anyway, honestly. I mean, what can it hurt? So this is this gloss. Uh, let me put it right here. Yeah, see that's way too light for me. That is not gonna do anything for my lips. That kind of sucks, but I wanna use it with the gloss and see what happens. What is the big deal with this gloss? This is a clear gloss. Y'all know what? I'm about to be bad, but I'm going to try the shade that I like, the fawn, and I'm going to set it how you're supposed to. And they say use it with the gloss, and I'm going to use this gloss. I have to try it before I bring it back. It comes in this tube. Oh, and then it has a metal applicator. That's interesting. And then it's just a clear gloss. I don't know if you guys can see on the tip there I'm trying to squeeze a little bit out it's just a clear gloss i don't know what the big deal is but i am a sucker for wanting to try whole systems together i just rubbed it on top of the setter and it actually looks like a white milky kind of shade when they're together all right i also picked up a sephora facial cleansing pad this is just one of those little silicone scrubbers I don't have anything like this in my shower. I have a Luna Foreo, whichever one that is that, you know, those came out a while back where 
you squeeze, you turn it on and it vibrates. I keep that in my travel bag and I rarely ever use it. I've left those in hotels or Airbnbs before. So I'm probably going to put this in my travel bag and then keep my other one here at home so I can use it more. I also finally picked up an LYS bronzer. I got this one in the shade Strength, which is dark. I don't think this is the darkest one. Same packaging that they have on everything else. This is not the darkest one that they had. And this is what it looks like. I was worried this was gonna be too light for me, but this looks like, oh, we're gonna have to try this in a video because they do have a darker shade, I think. Let me double check. But I felt like that one was way too dark. There is another one called Worthy that's deeper. This should be my shade for a bronzer. I'm not looking to contour, so this should work just fine. These are little samples that I got. I did not realize I picked up another set of the iconic House of Lashes minis. I don't need two sets of these. I haven't even tried the other ones. I need to try those because if these are good and they work well, I may keep them, but I didn't mean to pick, I didn't mean to pick up two. I was just trying to hurry up and check out because stuff was going in and out of stock so fast. So these are cute, but again, they have a thicker band than what I'm used to, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna love them or not. So I'm gonna try the other pair and decide if I'm gonna keep these since now I have a backup. I also picked up the Sephora Make No Mistake Foundation and Concealer Stick. I wanted to do my Sephora full face, but I wanted to make sure I had a contour stick that was dark enough. So I picked this up in the shade number 16 Ebony, and I plan to use this to contour with. That is a very dark shade. So I'm gonna have to be careful, but this is gonna work for what I wanted it for. So glad that worked out. Two more Sephora products, and then I have a couple other products that I picked up. I picked up the Say Air Set Radiant Loose Setting Powder. I got mine in the, in the shade Translucent Medium. And I have not tried this yet. Packaging is super cute. I've heard a lot of people talking about this and how good it is. And so of course I had FOMO. Let me know if you guys have tried it. I am concerned because it says Radiant. How do you use this? I wanna open it. I always worry about using stuff that says radiant in the center of my face because of my pores. And then I didn't want to get the translucent because I was worried it was going to be too light. Even though stuff says translucent, it isn't always translucent. We'll put this over here. Oh, that feels so smooth. Oh, what? Do I have something on my finger that's cheating? Listen, I need to try that again. Okay, I must have had something on my finger. <laughs> it still feels smooth. Okay, I see why it says that it's radiant. It kind of reminds me of that Marc Jacobs Accomplice powder, but it doesn't have quite the same sheen. This is something I'm gonna have to be careful with because the shade, I can't, I don't know if you guys can even see. It's like a medium. It's definitely not like your normal translucent shade, but... Let me close this so I don't make a mess. Where's my powder? Y'all got enough powder on my face. Oh yeah, I see some translucent and I see some radiance. Uh, I don't know if I would use that under my eyes. It doesn't look bad though. It's not like super glittery, but if you like, I don't know. I'm saying I don't think I would use it under my eyes, but Y'all, we ain't supposed to be doing all this. This video is going to be so long. I don't know. This will be used in a video soon because I am very curious about it because it has gotten a lot of great reviews and it says radiant, but it doesn't look crazy. So I think I might like this. The last products that I have are from Muse Beauty Pro. I have never ordered from them before and they had a sale for 20% off. I just kind of went on the website and looked and I was like, yeah, I don't think there's anything I want. Y'all, they have a lot of different like pro artist brands and I love the brand Viseart. I don't show a lot of their stuff on my channel because honestly I have so many eyeshadow palettes, but I do love the quality of their stuff. And there was one palette that I was upset that I never got and they had it. This is the Bijouette palette. 
and I saw it and I was just like, yay, I finally get to get it. So that is what prompted me to place the order and they had a set that came with it. So I think the set, I don't even know. Oh wait, I have my receipt in here. Does it tell? Nope, it doesn't tell prices, so whatever. But I don't know if you've seen this palette. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. Yes. Oh, I can't wait to use this. It has your neutrals, so you can just do like the shade, what I have on my eyes today, or like what I would do for my normal, would be like this shade in the crease, this shade on my lid, this on the outer V, and I would go about my business. But if I wanted to amp it up a little bit, I could go into the greens, the purples, the blues, like I love every shade in here. So that is why I felt like I needed to get this palette. Last palette that I picked up from Muse Beauty Pro is this Physiart. This is their Paris Etoile palette. This is a little mini palette that they have and I just love this color story. It's super grungy, cool tone. Anything like this is gonna get me pretty much any time. I was particularly drawn to this kind of, I don't know, it's like a gunmetal shade. And of course it's the shimmers, but shades like that just, I don't know. They always do something for me, my bony hands, you can't really see it well. But anything that has a purple, I need to see it. And then that shade is like a taupey, I just thought all of these were gorgeous. If you haven't tried this brand and you want to, I think this is a great way to do it because these shadows are expensive, but these little ones, you get smaller pans, you're never gonna use them all up, I know I won't. So great way to try the brand without spending too much money. And the shadow, the quality of these shadows is absolutely amazing. So great way to try it without breaking the bank. And then I don't remember which of these brushes it came with, honestly, but it came up, it came with some Esom brushes. I don't feel like I bought brushes. So this must've all came with it. Oh, I remember what happened. Okay, hold on. So now I don't know. Anyway, I bought two sets. The other thing I bought was their mascara and Ooh, I can't think of her name. I'm looking dead at her. I'm gonna put her name on the screen. I watch a lot of her videos and she said that she loved this mascara. This is the Isom The Mascara Ultra Volume and Defining Length. So I picked this up and it also came with a set, but honestly, I don't remember how the set was. I'm guessing this came with the eyeshadow. This is the Isom Medium Round Eye Contour Brush. I have heard that they have good brushes, but I have never tried any of them. So this is nice for, definitely for contour. It is too small to really be a, well, you could use it as a blending brush, but it's a little bit smaller. I would use this more for my outer V. And then also I got this small scallop liner brush. And this is, yeah, this is just a really small, kinda to use, if you can see how small that is there, just to use to like put liner on your bottom lash line or maybe even use for your top lashes, for your top lash line I mean. So I've actually been liking brushes like this a lot more lately whenever I'm doing my shadow because I don't normally use sh um, eyeliner on my bottom lash line. So love brushes like that. And then I think I have one more brush. Yeah, this is the angled liner brush. So again, I'm pretty sure that this came with the eyeshadow, but I'm not sure since both of these are eye products. So this is the liner brush. So if you like to just do powdered liner for your wing, you could easily do that with this one. And then the other two things that came, is this the same thing? This is the dual eye and lip pencil. I don't think I bought two. Lord help her. So this one is in gold brown. This is the eye pencil. So there is a gold and then there's a brown. Let me swatch those for you real quick. This is the brown, very dark and pretty. And then this is the gold. I am not left-handed, so sorry. Oh, don't push that hard. These are very soft. Ooh, that's pretty. I could actually use that in my inner corner, but I just messed this pencil up. Let's see. Oh yeah, that is very soft. Okay, not mad about that. You just gotta be careful because that gold is softer than the brown. And then this is 
I think this one came with the eye, with the mascara. This is in platinum and black. So you have a more silver and a black. So now I have both, a black and a brown. So you can see the difference there, clearly black and brown. And then this is the silver and I know now I need to press softer. So you see the difference there between the silver and the gold. So definitely cute. I would not have bought those by themselves, but since they came in the set, I took advantage of the discount with them being together. And then, sorry, I have one more thing for from Sephora. I went ahead and I picked up the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. I don't know if I picked up the right shade. I picked up the shade Blondie. I did not want, what is it, Canufa, whatever. It's like super yellow. I don't wear that on my face. Right now, I have on the... Fenty Beauty Banana shade, and I don't love it. I've tried that powder twice, and I have said that I'm going to bring it back. So I've heard good things about this setting powder. This one is a yellow shade, but it's not like super golden. Oh, this has that mesh net. I don't love that. But this is what the shade looks like here. I'm going to try to pull it back so you guys can see. It's yellow, but it's not like a neon. And I feel like it looks neon there. But let's just see. Yeah, that is definitely going to be brightening. So I feel like I'm going to have to be careful with that. But I, I really don't need any more setting powders. I have my favorites. But I've just heard so many people talk about how good this was that I finally decided to pick it up and why can't I close this? That is it. That is the last of the products from my Sephora haul, finally. Thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know about the products that you saw, what you think about it. Let me know about those fragrances. Do not forget to check out the Dossier website if there are other products that you've been wanting to try, fragrances that you think are too expensive and you wanna smell them first. Head over to the website, get them at a lower price because it's their version of the same exact thing that you're going to spend a lot of money on. Try it first. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.